thinking kapag mayayaman, di na ka experience mm. ng um, naglalaro sa labas or like iPad agad, like technology agad. Again, I was lucky enough that the rise of uh, social media, which is today, rise of social media, electronics, technology. I didn't grow up in that era. Mm-hmm. I guess that's something that's very, very different. I mean, let's get real. I mean, I grew up already to the scene. You know, I want to talk about that. Simula na nabuntis pa lang si Tita Mina. Yeah. It's like a big issue in here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Then nung nanganak, tag-tago ba? Yeah, because no, yeah, no, no one knew. No one knew. What's the reason? If it's okay um, to It's because share. they were ready to live a life out of the showbiz scene. Mm-hmm. Give birth in America, give birth in the States. And they'll start a life there because my dad has a brother there that lives there. And because they knew once we come out, Cassie and I, it's going to be pointed right at us, the attention. Mm-hmm. But the way they just love their craft so much, both my parents, they couldn't leave it. They couldn't leave it. And I guess that was the point where they just decided na, okay, we're coming back to the Philippines. I didn't know a single thing about life. I mean, it was <laughs> months only. But at that very point, they really wanted to respect my privacy. Feeling ko, magiging, nung bata pa ako, feeling ko magiging sundalo ako in the future. Kasi syempre, yung sa father's side ko, uh, mga colonels, mga general, and puro lalaki talaga. So na, na-inspire ako doon. And I want to protect our country. May ganun akong feeling. I mean, it's a huge responsibility. And parang ang angas lang kapag parang, oh, wow, you're protecting the country and you're, you're a woman. Mm. And narealize ko, ay, hindi pala ako <laughs> physically strong. <laughs> I, I'm not strong enough to be um, a soldier. And um, narealize ko na, oh, gusto ko palang maging artista. Mm. Kasi narealize ko nung bata ako na magaling akong mag-critique. <laughs> mag-critique. And then, I'm happy na yung nanay ko sinuportahan ako dun sa pangarap kong yun. And dahil dun, andito na ako ngayon. Oh, what is the best part of growing older? What is the best part of growing older? Hmm... Just, I guess, just the challenges in life, the obstacles. Do na ko na excite, because because of those obstacles or because of those challenges, mas nakikilala ko pa yung sarili ko, mas nagiging malawak pa yung self awareness ko, mas niintindihan ko kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng mga magulang ko or kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng mas mga nakakantanda sa akin. For me personally, growing up, the thing that I'm really most excited about is the way my mind works. Mm. Every stage in life when you grow up, a different um, scenario comes into your life that you never expected. But your capabilities of handling that situation or stepping into that situation is such an exciting feeling because the moment you get into that situation, you never really know that oh, my mind's capable of handling that situation already. But when you're in that very moment and you do the action or you say the certain things, then you look at yourself and you're like, wow, I just did that action. Wow, I just said those things. Where did that come from? Then you look back like, oh, that was because of growing up. That was because of um, learning through so much events in your life that the way your mind works, the way your heart feels, Grabe, the whole difference of that changes everything. Virgo is sensitive to your actions, inactions, words, and what is left unspoken. So true. Like, small details. Like, pagbukas ng pinto. Or like, the tone of your voice. Or someone else's voice. Mm. Sobrang sensitive ako sa ganun. Kasi para sa akin, for sure marami makaka-relate sa akin. Lalo ni mga co-Virgos ko or fellow Virgos ko. Um, yung small thing or small things, it's a 
big thing to us. Like, iba yung impact sa akin. Kaya I'm really... Um, th- those small things are really, really important to me. Kasi those small things can be a big thing also. Like, lalo na kapag pinagsama-sama mo yung mga yun. Knowing myself, how in the in the independent thinking I thought I was, I really needed that outlet where I needed to be dependent on someone. And that really changed the scope of everything. Mm. Yeah. And you were gonna say... You're too serious sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah. yeah, like, nabasa ko nga din sa um, kay Tito Google na yung Capricorn and Virgo as a couple, for sure may bad sides din niya. Like, we're compatible. Like, our signs are compatible. But may bad side din or bad traits mm-hmm. ang pagkakaroon pag- pag- ng relationship ng Virgo and Capricorn. Yeah. So, in connection to that, We are sometimes too cautious and end up missing the fun in life. Kumbaga, minsan nagkakaroon ng mundane. Yeah. And I beg to disagree. Kasi like us together, it's always fun. Mm-hmm. But mundane or having a mundane day or mundane week, it's okay. I mean, I, I still enjoy it as long as I'm with you. Mm-hmm. So. Ah! <laughs> I honestly believe that, hear me out, like, every generation, whether it's Generation Z, Generation Y, or Generation X, mm-hmm. it's like the responsibility is being passed down. Yes, yes. Yet it doesn't mean that irresponsible in Generation X, irresponsible mm. in Millennials. Mm-hmm. It's just that I feel like Generation Z, in com- In comparison to Generation Y and Generation X, is they feel like they're very responsible for what I they say or what they I do agree. that will affect the future of all. That's mm-hmm. why they're so very keen on things like, no, we should study this. No, we mm-hmm. should be educated on this. No, we should voice out our opinions on yeah. this, um, on this issue or this current event. Because alam natin kung ano yun na pagdaanan yeah. before, on to for it to happen again. And I read in the business, in some f- business articles that these electronic companies or these companies that hold on like technology, mm-hmm. they really base their statistics on Gen Z's. Mm-hmm. And they really hold them accountable for what the future technology is going to be like. And that's good. Because yeah. we're like the successors. They say that most Gen <laughs> Z's actually want to hear what they believe in. Oh! Compared to he- hearing something that goes against what they believe in. Like, So, you're saying that we're not that open-minded about certain topics? Yeah, because we're, our belief is so strong on what we believe in and that if we actually are vocal about it, which is good, mm-hmm. we know that someone out there a bunch out there will eventually post the same thing that I'm feeling. And you can come together and it becomes like a strong bond. Mm-hmm. That's good because this is a conversation. But if it's like hatred, it's probably going to be toxic. Are people nowadays going overboard just to go viral? Ang ganda, no? Oh, wow. Ang ganda. Yes. 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 I can confidently say that. Yeah, Because definitely. Because some of them, like, gumagawa talaga sila ng, sa public ng away yeah. para maging viral. Even yeah. though it's scripted. Yeah. Yes, I, I definitely agree with this that they have to go overboard because mm-hmm. for them, for like, people to not stay stagnant, mm-hmm. Definitely, at one point of your life, you have to go overboard. Yeah. Whether it's like all caps overboard or just like that mini jump out of that yeah. thing that you're used to. Are people too obsessed with their social media image? Ooh. Hmm. To the point that they don't even know yung sarili nila. Yeah. Like just privately. Just the image in social media. They're so obsessed with it. I had that face. Oh yeah. 
Really? That I really want to please my audience to the point na nagbabago-bago na ako. Kasi syempre, maganda na pinapakinggan mo yung audience mo. Oh yeah. Pero may iba kasi na, oh, kailangan mo maging ganito. Kailangan mo maging ganito. And gusto ko lang naman din kasi pumasok sa society, sa image sa akin ng society before. So, may dumating ako sa point na hindi ko na alam kung sino ako kasi masyado kong piniplease yung ibang tao. Mm. Well, only small overthinking point like that, but sabi ko, hindi. Hindi talaga nag-iiba yung um, pagmamahal ko sa'yo. Hindi. Mas nagiging stronger nga. Then to the point na sabi ko, baka tinitis lang niya ako. At nangyari yun. After a few months, tinitis mo na ako pag may mga event. Sinasabi niya, oh, boyfriend ko to, boyfriend ko to. <laughs> Sabi ko, ito na yun! Ito na yun! Ito na yun! Sabi ko, tinitis niya sa iba. Grabe. And then, sinasabi na ng iba yung, yung management and all that, yung mga co-artists. Oo oh, nga, oo oh, nga. Eh, kaya ba tayo mo? Bakit? Tapos ako, yung parang wala akong narinig, pero... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tapos so pag sinasabi nice. nila na bagay kayo, bagay kayo, bagay kayo, bagay kayo. Tapos si kayo, hindi, hindi. Pero sa akin, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> admit ko yung sa- sinasabi nga ni Kai na uh, no do that to the point na parang stupid. stupid ka na. Of course, naramdaman ko yun in those two years. In other words, she wasn't looking my way. Doon ko narinis na parang ginagawa mo, ma. Napakatanga mo na. You're so stupid. But then I go back to it like eventually, eventually, Mav. Just be honest, because in for me personally, I'd rather be honest to myself rather than lie to myself. Nah, because if I if I keep telling myself stupid ka, stupid ka, but I know deep down inside na mahal kita, then it will go against my own and uh, my own will. Eh. May tanong ako, yung di ba, first job, acting, pero extra, ano yung nag-push sa'yo na hindi, gusto ko talaga to. Kasi I'm sure there were times na parang na-dishearten ka na or there were times na parang maybe oh, it's not for me. Oh, a lot of times. So ano yung, what's that one thing that kept you going? First of all, nanggagaling siya sa passion, sa pagmamahal ko sa acting, mm-hmm. sa craft. Pero yung nag-push talaga sa akin na, oh, I want to be known in this industry. I want to be respected sa industry. Nag-start siya sa isang director. Pinahiya ako, at hindi lang ako, kundi si Mama. Sa harap, sa gitna mismo ng set, sa harap ng lahat ng tao. So, nung time na yun, um, dinidiscriminate ako dahil probinsya na ako. Dahil maitim ako, dahil bungi ako, dahil hindi ako marunong magsalita ng Tagalog pa masyado nung time na yun. So, kinall out ako ng director. Sabi niya, oh, ba't kayo panalita mo? Hindi ba talent ka? Hindi ba, hindi ba dapat ay- ayusin mo yan? Ganyan? Tapos, oh, asan ba magulang nito? Asan yung magulang nito? Pagunta si mama. Ikaw, hindi mo ba, hindi mo ba tuturuan yung anak mo? Magsalita ka nga. Kinano. So yun yung parang, uh, yun yung motivation, yung kick na parang, ah, hindi ko hahayaan na ganito ako, yung nanay ko, o yung pamilya ko tratuhin ng ibang tao. Mm-hmm. So I worked really hard. Super small phase. Yeah. But it's part of the acting na. But yeah. athlete-wise, nothing that never happened. But more on the acting because because of the name and all that, people look mm-hmm. down on you. Um, people look the, down on you because of oh, yeah. your name? Yeah, 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 of They're course. Like, Tisa lang naman yan. Of course, Ganon? yeah. Yeah. Anak lang lang niya. Actually. Yan eh. Kaya nakapasok or whatsoever. Actually. So I was always like, I'm gonna prove to you guys one day. But I realized, sino sila? You know? Tao lang din naman ako. Tao din lang naman sila. Mm. And I, ang toxic nung, nung trait niyo yun for me na I'm working off their their insults towards me. Mm-hmm. I should be working. I should be loving this job because gusto ko to na mahal ko yung trabaho ko, mahal ko yung craft ko. I want to 
have that dream of proving myself more more than proving them wrong mm. proving myself that I can go through extra lengths.